information I think you'll find interesting. Take a look. Welcome back, Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Turian council member's mistress has made some unusual purchases lately. She may be expecting to move to a larger mansion. Time to repurchase effective cast status on Karshan. I have deducted funds to grant you full elite access.
How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He also knew that the Collectors were Protheans, repurposed to be Harbinger's puppets. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning and the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans, or... Maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How do you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I knew a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect. After two years of intermittent torture. You gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So, you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship. Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes. It's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. <sighs> of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. Thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. I'm okay. Really. It's been rough, but we'll get it done. You've certainly made a good start, even if those idiots on the Council won't admit it. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon. 
if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them? And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy, awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying. And I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base. But thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. soon. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... You won't understand unless you meet her. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? This thing wants to fire me over a joke! Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gernsback, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Felt good to take that collector ship, but we need to find a way to take it to them. That's a big step. May as well be out in airlock. Anything else, Commander? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dead before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. I still need to get to Trichanka, Shepard. My students are being held by Blood Pack. Tell me again what's wrong. Malin worked with me, helped me modify Genophage to deal with Krogan adaptation, now captured on Tuchanka. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the Genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them? Creepy. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work.
Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sodomus. I'll let you know, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. do for you. You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, Based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments crossed a line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailor. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy, you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Access to the AI core is restricted. Access to the AI core is restricted.
There you are. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met KG that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. I remember hearing her called an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain, you end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. 
and three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I have hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives them mad. Rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Shepard. I want... I need to deal with this. Don't know if I can help, Brett. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Junka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. Whenever we have time, 
I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. <laughs>